All right, so this is gonna be a video of how to change a cable on a Genesis bow, but the concept would be very similar. This is my DIY bow press. Uh, that video will be linked at the end of this one, so you can see that if you wish. And of course, this is my bow press that I built specifically for these Genesis bows that Camp uses. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. The concept for this, uh, the process for this particular switch would be very similar if you were gonna change out a string or do anything where you needed the tension off of the bow. So I've got my ratchet strap all set up right over the grip. So now I'm gonna tighten up the ratchet strap and you'll see the tension drop here. There's the tension dropping a little bit. Okay, so now I've got the tension off of the cables and strings. So now I'm going to do a little bit of a close up on the cam and the wheel. And uh, just so you can see what we're gonna do to make sure we route that cable correctly. Again, the process would be the same if you were gonna do a string. All right, so the first thing we need to know is which one is the cable, which one is the string. And what we are replacing here is the cable and that has the Y on it. Okay, so that is from the wheel all the way back to the cam. And then what you can see here is when that comes through the limb, and this is, you can see the serving is all jacked up and I don't have time to do a serving, so I'm just gonna put a new cable on. And these get these bows get shot hundreds of times every single summer. So it's good to just swap it out. So what I've got here is it's gonna come around and then connect to this little peg right there. And every bow is gonna have something similar to that. Take a picture of this bow beforehand so you know, okay, I have to go over that peg, come through right around and through the cable guard there. You wanna copy everything is what I'm saying. And then we gotta come up and go to both of those pegs in the outside of the limbs. All right, so I now have swapped out the cables. So what I'm gonna do now is put tension back on the bow now that I know that I've got the loop around the peg on this side and the two loops over on this side connected, they're in the right spots. I'm gonna slowly release tension. When I do this, I'm again gonna pull down on the ratchet strap as I pop that loose. I don't just wanna let things go and pop the handle loose because that'll let everything fly back into the bow and I don't want to do that. I want to I want to pull down, release the tension and let up to put tension slowly back on the bow. So I'm opening up the ratchet strap now while I pull down on the strap. So that ratchet strap is opened up. You can see the tension go back on the bow. And now I'm fairly loose. So I've got tension back on. And now I'm going to inspect to make sure the loops stayed on the pegs so that we don't have any issues there. And I'll show you one little tuning aspect. Not going to get really in depth into the tuning aspect of cables and strings and things like that. But there is one thing you need to check just so you're not going to continuously throw strings or, or cause problems for the bow. All right, so what we're trying to do here is just make sure that the wheel is straight. Okay, so if if this part of the Y is a lot shorter than the other side, then you're going to have a big angle difference on that bow. And it's, the camera doesn't do this justice, of course, so it's better to do this with your eye and get it as close as you can so that it's straight down the line of the bow. And if you have to change it, you're of course going to twist whatever side needs changing or twisting to change the angle of that wheel. All right, I will link the video that shows you how to build this DIY bow press. Um, of course, there's a lot of videos on YouTube about those. I highly encourage you to look at somebody else that does a lot more bows and a lot more higher, uh, I'll say higher tech, higher quality bows just so you can see that this isn't the only way to build one, but the concept is the same. You're trying to push on the limbs to release the tension so you can do string and, and cable work and things like that. Also check out the other uh, bow channels. 
just to watch these Bowtech uh, professionals do their tuning because this is by no means a tuning video. It, it's, it was merely one to say, okay, we have an unshootable bow at camp. How do we swap out the cable that has a long string dangling off it for those who are not in any, in any way bow techs? That's just not what they are. They are volunteers at camp, and that's what this video was for. Like and subscribe if this is of any help to you. Thanks much for the support.